Right, everyone. How are you doing? Welcome back to here. Right. Right, Paul. Right, Dad. I'll come over and see who's first in a minute. Right. I'm just going to set this up how I want to see it. Um, as I say every time, streaming does it a bit weird for me. and You have to keep going away from the comments, so I'd rather do the pop-out chat on YouTube. So I'll see you in a minute. I'll put, a, I'll put my ad on. So if anyone ever wants to support the channel and you're re-watching this, you get nice and early. Right, so this is how you can support me if you want to, because this channel is completely demonetized, and it's my only income, really. Um, and there'll be links in the description and the chat to how to do this, or where to, how, how to go to it anyway. See you in about 30 seconds. Right, back. All right, that's that done. That's sorted. So, hello, everyone. So, Sue's on. Um, so, Paul, and he was fast. You're right, Paul. Zed, you right, mate? Uh, Persio, Tactical, Liam, you right? How are you all doing? And he said, hello. No, Liam said, no notification. I had to keep refreshing you down. That's a shame. It's, it's, it's annoying when it does it. I'll tell you what it might have been, though, Liam. I put a video on a minute ago. So it might have been that, that it sent that out. <laughs> that is a driller, driller. <laughs> well, flash out at this point. I think Paul just lives for WC Live Test. I think he does, or at least to get in first anyway. <laughs> he would definitely have the world record for first on here. Definitely. I'm a little bit tired at the minute. I'll wake up eventually just because I've had a hard day. <clears throat> John's life, you right, mate? He's in my new job. I get weekend streams. Oh, that's good. Oh, what? Yeah, due to your new job, you get to come on on these. Nice one. Lee Norris, you right, mate? Paul said, hey, fella, a uh, big fan. Followed you for about five years. Ah, nice one, Paul. Nice one. That's good. Yeah, it's always good to know, um, you know, people have been on that long. You know what I mean? Oh, I missed Lord Flashart. No, I did see Lord Flashart. Yeah. Me with me with your long hair. Cut that off soon. Might cut it tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I, there's just been two fucking preoccupied in a minute but yeah the new drill that'll make a hell of a difference now because i'll be honest with you i was get it was getting it was doing my head in a bit you know what i mean you, know, you just can't do anything um it was not i wouldn't call it depression or nothing but i suppose it would have been a ever so slight little form of that and i was getting to the point where i was thinking oh nothing's worth doing this that that you know can't do anything stop doing videos just can't be off to do them but yeah I'm out of it now. Um, but that has made a hell of a difference. Gillian, how you doing? You're right. John's John said uh the boss ain't a twat. That's good. That's good, yeah. Nice one. Yeah, getting that new drill will make a hell of a difference to things. Um because the drills I had, I have got a weird little pillar drill, but it doesn't it's like a it's a hand drill in a in a hand thing. There's a lot of things wrong with it. It wobbles side to side. It would only drill, like, it can only raise up about an inch and a half, less than that, when the drill bit's in it. <coughs> so you couldn't get nothing thick under it. <coughs> I couldn't even get my um, bayonet handles under. And then it probably wouldn't be no good anyway because it's not got the right speed and power, um, the old one. And also, it, it drills a hole on an angle. Um the old one. So yeah, get rid of that completely now. Keep the drill because the drill will still work. But I don't. It had been. It broke about five times the old one, and I'd fixed it, fixed it, and fixed it. <laughs> but it was no good for um. The mo the most important thing is my bayonets. If I can start making the bayonets again, I can start making a living as well. But yeah, um, it will make projects a lot easier because I don't have to risk straining my stomach. So. Um. Where did I get to? Tactical said, hope everyone's all right. Flazzy, you right, mate? Paul said, nice bit of kit, Mike. I bet you can't wait to get it used. Yeah, I had to have a little bit of a test for that video. But, yeah, uh, cuts lovely. <coughs> Absolute lovely. Yeah, drills brilliantly. That's what I wanted. And you can change the belts if you want to. 
So if you do need to drill slower, you can. But um, at the minute, I've got it just off of the full speed. Um, it's on like the 11th highest setting, if you know what I mean. Um, I may whack it up to the 12th. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to look see what like the optimal speed is because they different ones for different things. But and I reckon a lot of people end up putting it on a certain one that works, you know, all round. But also, have you played the Brian Blessed Lucky Bastard for yourself? Well, I haven't yet. I don't know because Zed and Jim M both mentioned that earlier. So yeah. All right. So this one's just for me and my new drill. <laughs> lucky bastard. <laughs> I feel like a lucky bastard, to be honest. <laughs> Very grateful, I'll be honest. You know, if it weren't for you lot, that wouldn't have happened. So, yeah. Cheers. Tree fella, you're right, mate. Nick's knives, you're right. Jump Sabu, you're right. Ian, you're right. Yeah, I should have put the old uh, lucky bastard on ages ago. Yeah, Jim. I think it was on on the video I put on. Jim and um, Zed had mentioned that. Yeah, it's going to make a hell of a difference. Because that was the only thing. When I'm drilling, especially with my bayonets, I have to put the bayonets in a jig, put it on the floor, and then I'm hunched over it with the, the, the drill sort of under me, sort of gut sort of thing, pressing down as hard as I can, really physically pushing to get it through. And it's not even that hard metal, but it's just, you know, if the drills aren't capable, it makes everything more difficult, doesn't it? Uh, Paul said, can you do a close-up of the artwork on your wall? That one, do you mean? Or, the, or both? I can get them if you want, Paul. You're right, mate. But it's say hello. There's a couple of Pauls on. D2 said, Mike. Hello, Mike, and everyone else. You're right, D2. <clears throat> yeah, strange minds think alike. Yes, exactly, Dad. The funny thing is, um, Pete had said the exact same thing to me about... Um, That'll make leather work easier because I thought that myself. As soon as I got it, I thought, yeah, that'll make fucking um, drilling leather holes so much more quicker, straighter as well. It just, the thing is, I like to use the bare minimum tools possible, but sometimes if you're injured or something, you just can't fucking do it. It don't work like that. Um, but the better tools you have, it does, it, it can make things better. <clears throat> you're right dm we don't really do any of the um covid talk on here because it gets a bit too um weird and arguey and you know what i mean and um so we sort of steer clear of the old um vaccine conversation any of that kind of stuff you know what i mean and also oh you've reminded me of something i'll tell you in a minute but yeah because also, as soon as you mention that, you get all these weird warnings on your videos and shit. I'll tell you what's been happening in my videos, and it could be... I don't know. I'll tell you in a second, though. Hopefully it's nothing. It won't ever matter. The Zombie Slayer said, I weapon collector, I managed to catch you a second time. Oh, nice one. Yeah, good to see you on, mate. Good to see you on. Uh, pause it both, please. I remember you only had a couple on the wall. But you do mean these, yeah? That, that picture there and that one there. Is that what you mean, Paul? Um, <laughs> Dano Jano said, Can you perform a fantastic? I know you've deleted that one, Zed, but I don't mind reading that. Can you perform a fantastic backflip for us viewers? No, I can't. Matt said, Mike, glad you got that drill. You seem very happy, no doubt. It'll be cool to see what you make. Thank you, mate. Yeah, it will make things so much fucking easier because it was. It, I was getting ever so, not depressed, but it was, you know, I suppose you could call it mild form depression. Don't, don't help the amount I was drinking, to be honest. Um, oh, you mean that? Is that what you mean? My display is all right, um, Paul. Um, yeah, and that's going to make things so much easier now. It it drilled through the um, it drilled through the steel that I use for the thing so easy. It was um, it was unbelievable. So. I'll just say hello to everyone. Timbo, you're right, mate. Thank you for the um pads and that you sent me, mate. I haven't actually used one yet. I was going to save them for if it gets bad. It's been reasonably mild at the minute, so I'm going to save them. And if it flares up, I'll, I'll keep them as like the like a lifesaver type thing. You know what I mean? 
Top hat man, you're right, mate. It's all right, drill boy. <laughs> Uh I'll see you later, DM. It's a bit strange. Maybe it's because we wouldn't talk about politics. I don't know. But you know, oh, I don't need to. I oh, know I will. I'll explain it mildly, just in case he's still watching, or anyone else is on who's new. We don't really do the politics talk on here. Politics, religion, COVID type of stuff. We try to keep it sort of light and happy, and sort of, you know, have a laugh on here. Don't, there's no point getting serious on here. I try to have this more like a night down the pub, and I don't go down the pub and talk about politics personally. Um. But anyone's welcome here, do you know what I mean? Just, you know, if the mods say, oh, we don't really do politics, then, you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> nothing to be offended by, is it? It's just not a topic I really talk about, especially not in my relaxing time, do you know what I mean? Um, Zombie Slayer, I've still got to remind you about something that's happened with my videos. So let me, if I forget, something's been happening with my videos, and you must let me remember to tell you. Zombie Slayer said, can you do a more concise video on recommendations for women's safety? I tried to show my missus your stream, but she wasn't willing to sit for an hour. All right, yeah. All right, mate. Comment on one of my videos saying, Mike, can you do a shorter woman's safety video? And I'll do it. I'll do it, mate. Understand. Paul said, Mike, I managed to order a crossbow Series X today. Oh, Xbox. So I, see, I see XBO, and I always think it's, yeah. No, an Xbox, the new one. Yeah, nice one. That's good. Yeah, them a lot of that stuff still hard to get, isn't it? Well, I ain't got the money for a PS5, but um, Matt said, by the way, Mike, the weapon collector fan baby is ready to pop second of September. He's healthy chunking. We're doing our own birth. Nice one. I was going to ask you that today when you said about um, you know family stuff in the comment. I was going to say, yeah, you know, when when is um, when's baby due? Nice one. That's excellent news. I'm gonna sort. I'll have to sort out the baby grows. We have to make the baby grows soon. <laughs> Poor Pat Man said, "Is that called a pedestal drill?" Yeah, I was, there's different names for them: pedestal drill, bench drill, pillar drill. Yeah, there's a few names for it. Top Pat Man. Paul said, "Not sure I can ask in this chat, but are you still making those things that go on knuckles?" I'll be honest, with you, I haven't made anything like that for years and years and years and years and years, like literally years. And they're illegal to even own now, so you can't even own them in your own home. So now and I ain't got none either. I had to cut all mine up bulk croppers. Terry, how you doing, mate? Wizard trigger, you right? Matt said, got the Quillian dagger and the bowie from Todd Cutler. Very nice prices, Mike. Functional and nice wall hangers. Yeah, I got Zed got me a um, Todd Cutler um stiletto dagger, I think it was. A lovely thing. Absolutely lovely. Jamie, you right, mate? And he said, Mike, how was you? Just sent you some pictures of my new item, a machete. Used in the Korean War. All right, I'll check that out in a minute, mate. Dumble sale boobs. So I normally talk about boobies when I'm done. Exactly. Exactly. That's it, isn't it? Don't be boring us to death with politics. Steve said, howdy, folks. Nice new drill, bud. Need an excuse. <laughs> but, yeah, no excuse. Yeah. <laughs> Need excuse for making new toys. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Nick said, all that anyone needs to know about politics is that whenever you think it is wrong, um, is that whatever you think is wrong and whatever I think is right? Exactly. It's just it. You know, it's all. It's not worth bothering. <laughs> As you said, is that new drill reel? Is that drill reel? I think it is. I think it is. Right. Every, pretty much every single day I wake up, get up in the morning, check my emails. I've got another video that's been um, age restricted. You going off, Timbo? Good night, mate. Thank you for coming on. He said, go to bed, hard day at work, and I've had a drink. Yeah, good night, Timber. Yeah, I keep getting pretty much every single day now age-restricted videos. And luckily, it says you're not getting a strike for this. But I have no, I know people who are it, the weird saving grace of not being monetized. I never get any issues with things. But there's been quite a few people who are, who are monetized who are getting these age-restricted um, strikes and then and then they're getting a proper strike, an actual strike. That if you get free, you get your channel taken down. So hopefully it's nothing, <clears throat> and I don't keep doing it. But every fucking morning I wake up and I've got another one. 
and it's videos it shouldn't be. Liam said, hello, my fellow weapon collectors. Do we have any plans to overthrow the government? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, it seems GCHQ joined us. Exactly. Yes, exactly. You know it when... <laughs> Matt said, very nice indeed. For stiletto by Todd. Um, I love wearing drillers. <laughs> um, that's probably why I'm banned from all the pubs in 20 mile radius where I am court case next month. Yeah, hopefully this um hopefully this keep getting age restricted stuff is and it's for nothing as well. So for videos that have been on for like 15 not 15 but like 10 years. Sam Aldino, you're right mate. He said are you still doing the crossbow accessories to quiver the board? I am. I've been injured. I've ripped my stomach muscle. That's uh, one of my stomach muscles and it's it stopped me doing stuff for ages, but I should be back soon. So yeah. Send me a message if you can, San. On um, if you can get hold of me on some kind of social media thing, it's easier, it's a bit quicker, like Facebook group. I've got a Facebook chat page, channel sort of thing, um, or Instagram or Twitter. They've all got instant messengers. <clears throat> That's good. I found out I bypassed the age check. VPN set to US. Ah, uh, nice one. Yeah, because I was going to say I was thinking about it today, only mildly. I thought I did think to myself. Imagine if all of my videos have to be age restricted, then that's that's an issue for some people. Um, James, I went to the dentist today. The dentist said that my teeth are okay, but my gums have to come out. <laughs> oh, and I just missed. Um, who was it moaning? So, someone was moaning about the videos. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? <laughs> no, they weren't really. It's just it's just a trigger that video. <clears throat> Terry said, yeah, Mike, I've had times to verify my age to watch your videos. Yeah, let me have a look what one it was. So the other, the other, the recent one with the age restriction was the, um, I was in a pub and I was, it was, we was doing, like, not a lock-in, but the, the bloke in the football club used to, um, let us sit in there late. I never got a chance to watch that video in the end, Liam, because I, um, as soon as I woke up today, that drill came, so I've spent all day doing that. But I, w I will watch it. But funnily enough, I have looked up. Since you said, I did look up who Rem Lazar was, that curiosity. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Right, so let me quickly look up this um, this video today. It's fucking weird. Matt said, YouTube is turning into, into the network from the movie The Running Man. It is, it is. That way. <laughs> Pleasure to know that you want stroke crow. Right, let's stroke crow. Why are you not entertained? <laughs> I need to cut the the end down a little bit shorter though, so you don't have to stare at stroke crow's face for so long. <laughs> Oh, fuck's sake. <clears throat> Jumbo Salvo said, visited an elderly gentleman a couple of days ago. Took me for a ride in his Ferrari boxer years ago. Let me look at his cars. All right. Yeah, I don't really know a lot about cars, but they do sound like, yeah, some um, some fancy cars there. Riggs, that's nice, though, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Sam, uh, send me one on Twitter as well. Send me one on Twitter as well if you want. It'll just make sure I've definitely got it. There is a delay in things, though, but once I've got your message, I can come back to you. Dad said, Tactical, you missed a bit off the end of that. It should have said, Emails won't get answered. <laughs> yeah. it, this is what happens. This is what's going to happen to me one day. Put it on the wrong fucking email thing now. Hang on, <laughs> I need to check my emails. Oh, Sandy, I've got your email. Sandy, I've got your email. Um, let me just check. I want to tell you look what this bloody video was. <laughs> Matt said Mike Stacey's enjoying the Russell Crowe clip a bit, a bit too much. <laughs> That's right. Well, what was the one they 
So the one that got age restricted last night was. But yeah, the one that's the face swap of me, we call it Stroke Co, because it looks a bit too much. Um... <laughs> it don't look right. Oh, so the video that got age restricted today was a film I uploaded that's fucking private. It's a private video, I thought it was, or an unlisted video of a film that's really hard to find. You can't get it on DVD. It don't exist on DVD. So I copied it. It was actually taped off the telly. That's been age restricted for some reason. Fucking weird. That makes no sense. <laughs> Don't say boots. He has no immediate family. Hopefully he'll adopt me. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> that sounds good though. Especially if you're into your know, cars and that. See, I don't. Cars just go straight over my head. James said, I went for a job interview today. The boss asked me if I can perform under pressure. I said, no, but I'm pretty good at Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> <It's so good. laughs> Persia said, did you ask Edward Pissfingers, Mike? What you could use that when you need an intermission. I haven't yet. I've, I need to go through all of them. But they're all on my computer. But I, um, <laughs> so I was pretty drunk when we was uh, going through them, weren't we? Dre Fowler said, can anybody recommend some cheap bolts for, for a beginner to practice with? Just order the red back. I've got bandages and first aid kit. So all should be good. Um, In all honesty, mate. Um, most pistol bolts are quite cheap anyway. The if you want to get decent bolts, so you can get the plastic bolts. Um, they're just you know, if you can get the, the, the cheap plastic bolts, just put in crossbow bolts, find the black ones, the, the black Anglo arms ones, and they're, they're fine for just practicing. But, um, I think even the Anglo Arms aluminium and black one, yeah, the gold aluminium and black ones, um, they're reasonably cheap and they'll last for ages. So yeah, Anglo Arms ones. But you can get really cheap um, plastic bolts that you could just shoot all day long. Dumble Sal Booster, I've got a message from YouTube stating that all unlisted videos on the account are now public. Or something like that. that's it. I, well, I think they're going to make them private. All unlisted videos are going to make private or something. But yeah, I've seen that a couple of times. Ain't you free, Gunner? You're right, mate. How are you doing? Liam said that bot is out there. <laughs> it can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. Absolutely will not stop ever <laughs> until you're striped. Exactly. Exactly. I sometimes think I am lucky I'm not monetized. It does make us, I think it does make a slight difference sometimes. Because I swear to God they're trying to strike you to take your fucking monetization away. West Yorkshire, Sam, how you doing, mate? You right? Did I say you see your name up there now? Yeah, look up, tree fella. Let me just check on eBay quickly for you. It may not be the cheapest. Um... But yeah, you can get 12, um, let me see what the cheap is. But you can get 12 of the aluminium bolts for like six, seven quid. 12 aluminium bolts for seven quid, the anglo armed ones. Yeah. You might as well go for them because the the plastic ones are six quid. The The gold and black ones, the aluminium ones, are seven quid. So you might as well just get them. And they will last you for ages. Um, Tactical said, no jaw sprout bolts. Yeah, no jaw sprout bolts. Jaw sprout bolts are the best. <laughs> I said hello to 83 air gun, didn't I, Sam? Um, Matt said, talking of job interviews, I had one a year ago for Western Power. They said, describe yourself in three words. I've I replied, introvert, sadistic, mindfucker. <laughs> I didn't get the job. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Foxy lady, how you doing? You all right? Hope you're good. So, yeah, that old drill should make a hell of a difference. And um, I'm going to need to sort out the shed a bit, but I'll just take it easy doing that. Maybe I won't do it tomorrow, I doubt. 
maybe Sunday. And then Monday I'll get uh, I'll start a project. It'll just be a simple one. Um oh, and I've done the answers for the Q and A. This is how bad I was getting with sort of mild sort of uh, as I say, I won't call it depression, but I just oh nothing's worth doing. You know what I mean, because of being not being able to do fuck all. I've recorded that um Q and A video. Forty five minutes long. And I almost just deleted it out of out of spite of just I don't want to do it. <laughs> I didn't though, and it's gonna be edited. But yeah, that's what I was getting like. Just you know, sort of I I know I must be terrible for people who can't do anything, you know, a bit like my poor old mum who can hardly walk. I can understand why she's frustrated a lot now. It opens your eyes a little bit, you know what I mean. Better not say he said to tactical. The ones George is bringing out are going to be great value, made of the finest crap money can buy. <laughs> Will only be ten pound each. Yeah, <laughs> that way, that way. Nick said George bolts are the best at something. <laughs> it just is just that something isn't being the best crossbow bolts. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, the 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 best at being the most expensive at least. Come, how you doing, mate? I, said, I ordered an knife online last week, and now I found out I have to pay ten euros custom charge on top of the postage. I've I've had that once. That's very annoying, isn't it? Um, I had that once, and it was sixteen quid or twenty six quid, and it's fucking shit. I hadn't even bought. It was stuff that was supposed to be sent to, as a review. It really pissed me off that did. Um, I think it's sixteen quid because I think twenty six quid I wouldn't have paid. Yes, yeah, that's annoying, isn't it, Ken? I've decided nowadays I'm not ever going to buy any knives or any any sporting goods, weapon weapons, I should say, um, on from abroad anymore. It's too risky now if you live in the UK because there's there, there's been times where they're now – customs are now finding stuff that's legal and getting the police to come around your house, even though it's legal, and they're pressuring you. It, it, it wouldn't work with me because I know what's legal and what isn't, but they go around people's houses pressuring them into giving stuff up and saying that they've bought something illegal when they haven't. It's, it's a shame, really, isn't it? T2, so I'm still hooked on the series Mystery at Blind Fog Rides. I'm going to have to look that one up, T2. I remember you mentioning that. I watched a film the other day, and you know what? I cannot fucking remember what the hell it was. I, I was watching the film last night, but it was um, it was so bad I stopped watching it. It was called The Black Gloves. Freddie, you're right, mate. Tree Fella said, just ordered two packs off eBay. Ah, nice one, mate. Yeah, that that sort you out them bolts. They're um them the the Anglo you'll see other ones. You'll see other gold and um gold shaft um black flights, right? Always get the Anglo Arms ones if you can. You'll see the packet. They're they're the best sort of ones of them you can get. Um you know, last ages, you'll see other bolts that people might say are better, but in my experience of, you know, testing them, like there's these aluminium ones with like rubber flights and that. If the head screwed in, they would probably be the best bolts you could get, but the, the heads are always loose as fuck and they come out instantly. You can't get them back in either because they're just sort of crimped in. Once they come out, they will not go back in. Um, Nick. Nick said I had to pay 40 quid customs charge on a mouse that I was sent in an RMA as a replacement for a mouse that broke. Funnily enough, they were on sale at the time, so I could have bought one for that. Yeah, that takes the fucking piss, doesn't it, Nick? Irishman, how are you doing, mate? If I didn't say hello, I didn't see you on, I don't think. So I said, I watched Hitman Redemption the other night. It's okay, but not particularly wonderful. That's weird, Zed. I watched a film the other day, and I can't remember what the fuck it was. I tell you what I have started watching, though, because I woke up last night. At, I couldn't sleep last night. woke up at about half three. Um, couldn't sleep. So I thought, oh, fuck it, I'm going to put on a TV series. I'm going to put on an English TV series. So I've started watching this again. I haven't seen this for years since it was on BBC Three. And I forgot how good it was, actually. Um, is there a Series 3 of that? Because I've got Series 2. But, yeah, I haven't actually watched that since it came out, which was, like, 2013, something like that. Friendly said, really sorry for not being on much, but during the summer, I come on most Saturdays, normally busy on Fridays as well. 
I'll try to be on as much as possible. That's all good, Freddy. You know, you've got stuff to do, ain't you, mate? Yeah, that's nice to see you on. Metallic Reality, how you doing, mate? You're right. He said, Hi, all just got home from my friends. I'm not sober, but I'm here. <laughs> nice one. I've got a pile of booze over there, but I don't know what, I ain't going to drink it this weekend, I doubt. James, I went to the butcher's shop, asked for some tripe, and kept me a box set of Love Island. <laughs> that certainly is tripe. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What the fuck was that film I watched? That is bizarre. That is weird. I cannot remember now. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just thought about watching one and never watched it. Matt said, have you ever seen a cowboy-based porno on VHS called Saddle Tramp? No, I haven't. It was going around when I was in my teens. I wondered if it was like your neck of the woods. <laughs> no, I've not seen that. Fuck's sake. I don't think I have ever seen a cowboy porno, thinking about it. <laughs> I don't think I have. I, uh, it's weird, Zed. I can't. I just have some weird recollection of watching the film, but now I can't remember any about anything about it. Freddie said he's been busy recently. Not really at all, mate, because I've hurt my stomach. The doctor reckons I've ripped my stomach muscle at the beginning of the year. Now that's why it's hurting all the time. Um, it's getting better now, they're saying that. Um, and then I fled up again, cut in with some swords. Um, so for about a month or more, I've done, hardly, hardly done anything, mate. But I've got a new drill today so that when I want to um, do some projects that I can't because of the injury, I can now. And that was not Broke Rock Mountain Can. That's what you was watching. <laughs> I was say. Stug said, I watched Charles Bronson film recently. Um, oh, the Charles, oh, Bronson. Yeah, Bronson. Yeah, Bronson's a really good film, actually. I like that. Um, yeah. It's quite unusual, isn't it? But yeah, I like um, I like Bronson. It's a bit surreal, isn't it? It's not your average sort of prison film. Um, so I'm laughing at the comments that are coming up. Yeah, Jamie, he says you need a haircut, you hippie. I know. Look at the state of it. <laughs> it's like reality. It's all ripped stomach muscles. That takes months to heal. I feel you. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Um. I think I did this at the beginning of the year, you know, maybe March, I think. So, yeah, it's been playing up for six months now. Irish was a slingshot or a crossbow shooting video. Oh, I'm going to have to watch. Oh, is that a new one? I'm going to have to watch that. Uh, that's it. Must have been a bloody good film then. It happens sometimes, Ed. I don't know why I do it. I watch a film and sometimes it just goes up straight out of my head. I cannot remember. Ah, oh, fucking bizarre, isn't it? Trying to catch up now, see where we are. Freddie said, Get well soon, mate. Heard about that with the post you put up about the pillar drill. That's it. But yeah, the pillar drill will enable me to do some stuff a lot easier because drilling with a pillar drill, you're only twisting a thing. You're not actually really forcing, um, you know, you're using your muscles, basically, put it that way. That's what a doctor said to me, Show me where it hurts. So I pointed here, 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 and here. And he said, You broke your finger. <laughs> James said, have you seen the film Nude Nuns with Big Guns? Uh, no, but I've heard of it. I've heard of it. It wasn't VFW, said. Definitely want that. I think it was either something on... It was... I'll, I'll be honest, maybe I didn't watch something. I just think I did. Um... <laughs> but I have been known to watch films and then completely forget it. Like, completely forget it. But it, it was actually something I thought was all right. Fred said, didn't you do it lifting a fridge for a doorway? It was it was a big TV, and I sort of crushed myself with it, yeah. Right, Rich, how you doing, mate? You seen the new drill? Let me look at my hard drive quickly. But I don't think it was something on my hard drive. I think it was something on, like... Um, you know, Amazon Prime or something. I reckon I'm just imagining it. I'm going to have a quick look there. <laughs> Liam said, maybe you did watch Creating Ramazar and he roofied you. Maybe, maybe. 
Um, Metallic said, I have to ask other people if we enjoyed films because I only remember that really memorable ones. Yeah, I every now and then it's it sounds weird and it, it's not even necessarily a really bad film. Sometimes I, I watch things that are good and I enjoyed it, but for some reason it just completely just goes out of my head. What the fucking hell? Unless I haven't watched one, as I say, <laughs> and I'm just being mental because I do sit there quite often thinking I'm going to watch a film and don't watch it. Right, just looking through my stuff I've got on here. Now, yeah, maybe I didn't, maybe I'm just imagining it. Um, the shark, how you doing, mate? You're right. Khalid said, I watched Hardcore Henry, amazing movie. It was a video game. That's it, yes, good, isn't it? Good, isn't it? yes, like it's like watching a, a video game, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. First person shooter, but it's um, yeah, it's, it's really good fun that film. Um, very gory, great bit of action. Yeah, I highly, highly enjoyed um, um, Hardcore Henry. Really, really enjoyed it. Funny thing is, Peach, um, Peach and I, uh, he sent me something I didn't know existed. There's a music video for The Weeknd, you know, the singer, The Weeknd. Um, about a year after making this, he did a video for The Weeknd. Um, and it's basically like a little short Hardcore Henry type video, you know, through the eyes, doing a bank robbery. It's, as good, it's about as good as that film, but it's only about three minutes long. I can't remember what it's called, though. If Peter's on, he might be able to tell you. Uh, maybe it was Bear or Stone, Christopher Lambert. I tried watching it the other day, and it was terrible. I used to love it. It definitely wasn't that. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it was. Freddie said, are you into metal scrapping at all? Scrapping, scraping, um, not really, mate. Not really. I ain't got nowhere carrying it anywhere. Kalita, do you ever pay attention to little scenes with weapons in movies because you love weapons more than the average movie? Um, yeah, I, yeah, I do. Like, yeah, the more you're into weapons, you'll notice things more, especially if there's mistakes, like um, shooting too many um, bullets or um, the worst. Uh, the one I hate is a magazine in backwards. You see that occasionally. Dad said, Mike, you've seen the new 90 kilogram punching bag photo? I did, yes. Off of, It's a thing to do with a boat, wasn't it? Yeah, nice one, Rich. Didn't have a chance to comment, but I did see that. Khalid said, if you could ever go on a force, if you could go force to from fire, forced on fire, force from fire, that's it. Would you go on a show? I'd have a little, I'd have to have a practice first. But yeah, I would, yeah. Um, I've never done a lot of proper forging there, but yeah, I would definitely. Yeah, ain't you free air gun? I said, Mike, do you remember a film called Brain Scan with Edward Furlong? I don't think I've ever seen that one, ain't you free air gun? I'll check that out. I'll check that out. Dear enough survivor, how are you doing, mate? Nice to see you on because you've been off for quite a while, ain't you? Sorry to hear about your um, your dog. Yeah, sorry to hear about that, mate. Nice to see you on, though, mate. Yeah, nice to see you all. You know, you're, you're about still because I noticed you hadn't been on for quite a while, had you? I, I did see your video pop up or something. I didn't get a chance to watch it, though. <laughs> Shark said, nice tattoo. <laughs> but Alex said, um, Ick Will Ramstein, worth watching bank robbery music video. All right, I'll check that out, mate. I'll check that out. <clears throat> that said, Freddie, one of the feet, one of my feet got infected somehow. Nothing too serious, but if it's ra it's rather irritating. It gets painful, it does. Oh, yeah, how is your um, foot and leg, um, Dad? I did see Rich saying that. Daryl, I've said, uh, good to see you on, bro. Yeah, been having a break. It, sometimes you need a bit of a break, don't you? I know exactly what you mean there. Can I say, are shields legal? To, they are, mate. Yeah, you can own shields and you can buy, if you're lucky, look on eBay and you can get ex police riot shields. They're great for the kind of things we'd want them for. Ain't going to stop a bullet or nothing, though. But um, lightweight shield that will stop bricks and stuff and bats and stuff like that and knives. Yeah. Freddie said, um, "I did quite a lot of, I did quite a lot of metal prices. It's so high. Copper is four pound fifty a kilogram. I was cutting out a cutter, a cover off, and sliced my thumb. Went straight through the nail. 
not going to be doing that for a while. Yeah, that's how painful, Freddy. Um, yeah, that's a nightmare. That's a shame. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Well, I've never. My problem is I can't get it nowhere. I've got a, I've got a bag <coughs> of. Um, I've probably got twenty kilograms or more of probably more than that, but I've got at least twenty kilograms of aluminium in a big rubble sack. It's probably more than that. It's probably thirty kilograms now. So I'm gonna have a look up how much thirty kilograms of aluminium would be. Agile minded, right, mate? If it fucks me off, it fucks me off when they get archery wrong in films and that. They rarely get the forms right. Yeah, that's one thing that's massively. Um, you want to have a film where the main character only uses a bow or something, and they they'll be doing it wrong the whole time, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's a very common one, isn't it? Dead say it's getting better, thanks. But you hope the pain and irritation goes down there. <laughs> my pain and irritation goes down when she when she's away to bed. <laughs> Paul said, "Any Netflix recommendations?" <coughs> um, the only two things I know that are pretty excellent on Netflix because I don't have Netflix. Watch all of Black Mirror. Everything on everything they've ever done on Black Mirror is excellent. And check out. Um, Behind Her Eyes. And the only thing I'd say about Behind Her Eyes, I've known people to start watching it and stop watching it because what they think it is, they, they start watching it and they think, oh, this, why, did he watch, why did he watch this? This is a bit sort of boring. It's just a bloke having an affair with some bird. There's a lot more to it than that. It's worth, it's worth going through the, the, four, the four episodes of what appears to be just your average bloke having an affair with someone to see the last two or three episodes when it gets really fucking like yeah um some of you lot watched behind their eyes didn't you yeah i don't look nothing up about behind their eyes eh? but just watch it and behind their eyes is actually worth watching twice because there'll be a lot of stuff in the, the episodes where you would have no idea meant anything at all until you watch it again and you're like ah oh, that's pretty mental actually But Black Mirror, fucking excellent. There's, there's never been a, a shit episode of Black Mirror. Quite disappointed, actually, because I think Charlie Brooker has left the production company. That where because Charlie Brooker used to write and direct. Um, he used to write most of Black Mirror and direct most of it. I don't, reckon, I don't think he directed all of them. It was one or the other. I can't remember. But he was the main person. You know, he created it. But he's left the production company he was with to, to do a new one, and now he doesn't have the rights to. Black Mirror. So it means there may not be any more Black Mirror, or if there is, it ain't Charlie Brooker. But I think he's trying to get it, you know. There's a shoot in a bow that's strung backwards. I've seen in the film for fuck's sake, Rich. That don't surprise me. Freddie said, yeah, aluminium is like 65p now. You should catch it in while it's high. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Uh, there's, there's becoming a little bit too more jokes here now. Stop it, please. For God's sake, please stop it. There's no more time. You've got to... Please stop it. Stop it now. Stop it. 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 Fucking nut, isn't you? <clears throat> <laughs> Tactical even joining in on now. Um, Matt said, Mike, uh, Mike, got to go sleep. Um, calls work for tomorrow. Fucking love your channel after all these years. Black Summer on Netflix is ace. Like The Walking Dead without drama. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it, mate. Yeah, hope, hope, um, hope all goes well and you, and you have a nice easy. Well, Stacey has a nice easy um, <laughs> home birth. Take care, mate. You have a good sleep. I was said I wanted to watch Tales of the Unexpected. I watched a few Tales of the Unexpected this week. Seems pretty good. I just remembered why I watched a film and couldn't fucking remember what it was. Because I didn't watch a fucking film. I've read a fucking book. That's what it was. And I've got that in my head. That because I could, you know, obviously when you're reading it, you're seeing it. Um, yes. It was a book. I read a fucking. I read one of Stephen King's short stories out of. Um, what the fuck is it? Uh, 
That's what it was. I didn't read it. I didn't fucking watch a film. I read one of the stories at four past midnight. Uh, it was about... There's four stories in here. So what well, Stephen King calls these short stories, they're as big as some people's books. And the story in it was about... Um, the length of it was... Uh, about 250 pages, which is a small book, really, called The Library Policeman. That's what it was. That's why I couldn't... That's why I was thinking I've got some kind of entertainment that I watched that I, you know, I enjoyed, but it's not a film. Yeah, The Library Policeman. <clears throat> uh, no, you know, 20 quid for... Yeah, I suppose that ain't too bad. I'd have to weigh it, but I think it was about 20 kilograms anyway, Freddie. It's, uh, that's not really a lot, is it? But I suppose it's money for nothing, isn't it, though? <clears throat> Agile Minded said the uh, the woman dancing to the creepy ass music at the start of Tales of the Unexpected spooked me out. <laughs> Big time as a kid. Yeah, that's why I couldn't fucking remember. It was a fucking book I read. I knew there was something that I'd like, I got a new story in my head, you know. Oh, Wizard Trigger said, have you seen Harry Brown? I haven't seen that. Michael Caine in it. Um, in in his inner city sort of London teenage gangs in it. No, I've never seen that. Is it worth watching? Metallic Reality said, I'm still in all your mama's Richard Layman's books. <laughs> Please don't put me in a timeout. <laughs> no, it's great. Yeah, Richard Layman stuff's excellent, isn't it? If you, that's the kind of thing, if you don't know Richard Layman, you know, but if you do know Richard Layman, <laughs> yeah, she loves it. I've read a fair few of Richard Layman stuff, and um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Jamie said, "Didn't he? What did Neil Armstrong say when he walked on the moon? Uh, <laughs> there's no fucking way a cow could jump over this." <laughs> Matt said, "Mike, um, do check out Black Summer. It's well." It's well filmed. Night, Mike. Good night, mate. What's that on? Um, is it Netflix? Library Placement, yes, Zed. <laughs> Have you read that? Is that in the book? I can't remember now. I know I only just read it. But, um... <laughs> Got a look now. It's making me wonder. <clears throat> oh, Terry Pratchett reference. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. It confused me. <clears throat> um, Wizard Trees and Harry Brown starts off very slow but gets good. All right, nice one, mate. Nice. Person, I wonder if the legend that Neil Armstrong saw aliens on the moon is true. Is that what he reckons? I did not know that. <clears throat> I never knew that. Nick said, I watched all of Black Summer not so long ago. Brilliant. Series. Um, what's it on, Nick? Did did Matt say it was on um Netflix? And can it be watched other places? And how many is there? You know, it. I don't mind watching stuff, but I get put off if it's like you know, like fucking Walking Dead, where it's how many series has Walking Dead got now? And it's twenty four episodes a series. So I didn't mind watching Game of Thrones because Game of Thrones was really only ten episodes, They're about fifty minutes long. You could watch about three a night and be done in like three or four weeks. And there's no filler. That's one of the best things of Game of Thrones. There's no filler episodes that won't go in nowhere. But I'll look into it. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's anything I'd planned to, to talk about tonight. Um... The keep getting not community strikes actually. I don't get community strikes, but keep getting those fucking um, um, age restricted videos. Pointless. It's weird. But it's, it's supposedly going on a lot, and someone else I know had the same issue, but they got an actual strike for it. 
Yeah, that's the only thing I'm watching at the minute. If I showed it earlier, I don't know. No one mentioned it when I said it. I'm trying to remember if there was a season three of it. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, there is. Oh, nice. I'll have to get that eventually then. On a Christmas special. Nice. Bet you can't get that unless it's on series three. Um, Nick said, Black Summer is only two series, 16 episodes total. It's on Netflix, but I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. Nice one, Nick. Yeah, that sounds easily be watchable then. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, Tree Fella. Tree Fella just um, sent a donation. Thank you, mate. Let's see if he's left a message or not. Oh, bloody hell, Tree Fella. Thank you, mate. I massively appreciate that. Tree Fella, if you didn't know, you get a little video for that. So here you go. It's just for you. Thank you, mate. But that genuinely, uh, you know, uh, um, all of the, any, any time anyone supports me makes a hell of a fucking difference in all honesty. Because, um, yeah. We're all stuck on fucking cows. I do not mind this help, Mike. We're stuck on cows. I'll quickly go on to my settings and ban the word cows. For <laughs> fuck's sake. Uh, Freddie said, do you watch Brandon Herrera? Never heard of him, mate. What's we'll he do then? Uh, Metallic Reality said, I've got to ask you. I got, I got asked by YouTube to confirm my age to watch a Combi Christ music video today. Um... What the hell is this about? I'm not giving you to my bank details or driving license to watch a sudden music. Yeah, that's mad, isn't it? That's that shouldn't be right. Why the fuck should you need to do that? Yeah, and ev every day when I wake up, I get another um, video saying uh, another message from YouTube saying this video has been a ran totally random video that's been on for like eight years. Um, yeah, it doesn't make any fucking sense. This must be a new algorithm thing. Uh, Flazzy's just donated. Thank you, Flazzy. I'll just go and check that. If you left a message. Maybe I'll get some drill bits as well to go with me drill. Thank you, Flazzy. Cheers, mate. There you go. Here's your, here's your special video. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I see the word cow. I'm not reading it now. <laughs> Joking. Virgil said, You said you were going to do a new war hammer, Mike. Are you going to use different style hammer? I reckon a Rufus hammer with some modifications would be great. I'll have to have a look into it because I'll tell you why I am definitely. I nearly the other day, Virgil, I nearly actually bought the hammer, but I didn't have quite enough money with these donations tonight. I'll actually be able to buy it now. Um, the only issue why I use the one I use it's because it's the minimum you have to mess around with it with the spike um, but yeah I think I'm going to do another I am going to do another one and I nearly bought the bits but it may be with the same head but I'm going to do it a bit different next time um, I'm going to use an angle grinder to cut some sort of grooves into the head so they become like spikes if that makes sense but yeah I think a Rufus Hammer a Rufus Hammer would work. The only issue is, oh no, yeah, actually, that's what I use. Yeah, actually, well, it depends which one you mean, Pazio. But putting in Rufus Hammer, um, oh no, you know why I don't use a Rufus Hammer? That's pretty much exactly what I use, but the spike's different, and you'd have to do more work on the spike. Put it that way. Um, but yeah, they would work. And the other, a lot of Rufus hammers, instead of having a spike, they have like a flat pick sort of thing, not like almost like a chisel thing. Um, yeah, it would work. That's it. Yeah. Um, I like the, the one, but yeah, I've actually got mine out. It sat there because I was looking how long the handle was. Because, um, yeah, I think tonight, I probably or tomorrow, I'm going to order the bits. 
<coughs> well, the one I use is a. I'll tell you what, the one I use, Paz. I use a. Um, it's called a rock pick. Rock pick. You know, drywall, all of them would work. The only thing is, they'd all require more work than the one I use. So I'm just trying to um, copy and paste drywall, Anna. Every time I try to do it, it goes off. Um, yeah. The only problem is you don't. Well, I suppose it depends what you want. That all of them would work, but they would they're slightly different. Yeah, if I I'll tell you what, pleasure. Yeah, if I ever want to do, it depends what you want to make. The reason I use the rock picks is because it's got the I I like it. I don't care what the hammer end is. I just want that spike. I suppose what you mean is having a hammer head and then like an axe head on the other side, don't you? So it's something different. I I'll get you now. Rock pick I made. <laughs> Right, let me try and catch up a bit. I think I'll see someone dropping from the fucking ceiling. <laughs> something out of the fucking leak or something. Last time it leaked, though, it was all coming down the wall, so it shouldn't be. Um, Dumbo Sabu said, I see the United Cutlery Night Watch Warhammer is due to be released end of the year. Should be UK legal. I have to look that one up, mate. I'll look that one up soon. By the way, if I miss any comments, add them, re add them on because I'm a bit behind at the minute. Flazzy said, You had many donations tonight, Mike. Just the two, Flazzy. I had one from you and one from, um, one from you and one from, um, what was his name? Tree Fella. That bricks, how you doing, mate? Carter, did you see the new drill? I got the new drill now. Oh, he did. Yes, good evening, Mike. Congrats on the new drill press. Thank you, mate. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. That'll make things so much easier now, and I can actually get get back in the shed and do stuff. Because it was, it was bringing me down a bit for a bit because I couldn't do anything. <coughs> Freddie said he does gun. Oh, this is the bloke you said, Freddie. He said he does gun reaction videos. He's a good mate with Demolition Ranch. He does a thing called Darwin Awards where he watches stupid people with guns and some die and he teaches them safety. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It just knocked the dirt off. Bit like that. <laughs> yeah, I know Darwin Awards stuff, Freddie. He said uh, it's called Darwin Awards. But they've done all well, done well by removing themselves from the gene. But yeah, now I know what Darwin Awards means. Yeah, yeah. That's it, no bull. As you as you said that, the stream flashed black. Did it really? But as I said, what the? <laughs> but Pajo, yeah, all right, I reckon what I'll do, I'm going to make another one of the ones I made. Yeah, and then if I want to make one with like a um, a different spike or something, I'll go for a different. Um, I'll definitely go for a different hammer, roofing hammer cut type of stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> Flazzy said I had to come back in the rain. The rain's that bad. My night vision couldn't see anything. Um, should have took the thermal scope instead of oh, the ceiling drip. Yeah, and as your mind it said, drunken orbs are falling. Could be now, but I didn't know. I kept thinking I could see something dropping down, but there's nothing up there. It just made me paranoid because there is a fucking um, oh, fuck me. I thought I saw a fucking drip on the ceiling then, but it's an old one, it's an old stain from before. <laughs> just fucking check. Yeah, no, that's old as fuck. Anyway, last time it dripped anyway, it was, um, I would have known better by now. That's <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> a fear of loading Las Vegas bats. <laughs> Why'd you say that? What was fa oh, what's falling down from the ceiling? 
It may, there may not actually be anything coming down. I may just be imagining it. <laughs> That's what an old stain on the ceiling. You need a bird, Mike. <laughs> uh, metallic serve. Don't know if I'm tech savvy or sober enough to watch <laughs> that to watch them. I suppose you the way you were looking about. Oh, I get you. Yeah, the fucking <laughs> last place of bats. So that's so. It was always a whip the old torch out. That always helps. So, what you lot got planned for the weekend? Anything planned? Freddie said, I'll be off. Should um, You should watch it. Wouldn't wouldn't advise watching it with the family or younger people as I'm not taking the blame for them being scared for their, their life. No, nah, I wouldn't watch nothing like that, kids, anyway. <clears throat> See you later, Freddie. Good night, mate. This one's just for Freddie before he goes. <laughs> oh, that's what we call diarrhea. Is that like calling the devil, though, playing that video? <laughs> <laughs> Don't play it three times, it'll appear. Do you like Freddy? <laughs> Whip the old torch out. Sounds a bit dodgy. It does, actually, don't it? But, yeah, um, thanks for the two donations tonight. I will actually buy the stuff to make another... Warhammer. It's going to be the same as the other one, but it's going to be more like Liam's one, which was bigger. Um, the one I made for Liam was bigger, and I want to change the head as well. I could just change the head of that one, but I want a bigger one. I want a, a longer handle. Um, yeah. Irishman said, my plan is to watch Slingshot Warriors crossbow shooting video again to cheer myself up. I can't wait. I'll definitely watch it after this, Irishman. You wait till you get my reply about that, um, you know, your question. About the science fiction crossbow. Wizard Trigger said, gonna have to go. I'll be back again soon. Uh be good, everyone. See you later, Wizard Trigger. Take care, mate. <laughs> Nick said, doesn't work as ass for you. <laughs> Plazzy said, How much do you need to make the Warhammer? Well, with what I already had and what was done tonight, I've got enough. I've got enough. Um yeah. It's it's probably only about 15 quid. And that's, I've, I've had 14 tonight anyway. And I already had a bit before, but it just wasn't enough um, at the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've got enough now. Richard said, at least you didn't play the three-minute version. We'd lose 10 viewers like last time. <laughs> and then, you imagine going on some, coming on some stream um, <laughs> and you see that. I must admit, you know, I probably deserve it. Ah, metallic rally. Jamie and his magic torch. Yeah, that brings back some bloody memories. Ah, <laughs> Tatra, yes. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey and his magic torch. Fuck's sake. Um, as your mind you said, what the fuck is a weekend <laughs> since Sunday trading was allowed a week? Uh, the week got longer. You know, there's the, the I think it's the Smiths or Morrissey song. Every day is like Sunday. Mine should be every day is like the weekend. <laughs> Except it ain't. I still have a weekend. Uh, <laughs> I still do have a weekend. <sighs> yeah, Jamie and his magic torch. Bloody hell, that brings back some bloody memories. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this or not. Get myself a copyright strike. Claim your free business profile to stay connected. Don't know when it kicks in there. Can you hear it? Let me know. Well, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, 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 
and the magic torch. Now they all sail by faster and faster towards Cocoon Land. Let's stop that. I'll get a copyright strike. It's making everyone want to leave. See you later, Terry. Good night, mate. We was just reminiscing about old uh, 1980s kids shows. <laughs> I think it well, could be loose, but I think he is. That'd be like the biggest insult ever to him. It's not on there, is he? <laughs> 83 air guns. To say Slingshot Warrior is religious, it's mad how you speak of the devil and he appears. The greatest trick the devil ever played was convincing the world he didn't exist. Ah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't say, what the fuck was that? That was Jamie and his magic torch theme tune. <laughs> Metallic said, oh, I didn't leave. I was singing and dancing along. Dungeon, you know what, Metallic, man? You're bringing up quite a few of the ones I used to like. Yeah, oh, bloody Dungeons and Dragons was brilliant. Yeah, I used to love that, the cartoon to that. Yeah, fucking Dungeons and Dragons. What an excellent um, cartoon that was. Richard, yeah, I don't think most people on a Friday night would want to hear a guy shitting for the eye of a needle by saying quotes from the Bible for three minutes. <laughs> I do deserve it, don't I? Hong Kong Fury, bloody hell, yeah. Bringing them all back now. Plus you saying stop, stop, stop. There you go. That's what you get. Everyone who starts doing cow jokes gets Jamie's Magic Talks for three minutes. Or maybe I'll just put Slingshot while he's shitting for three minutes on. Now, Ulysses in the 31st century. I think I remember that one. Was there one, the Lost City of Gold or something like that? Or was that that? I can't remember now. You know what, 83 I don't think I ever saw Pete's Dragon. He-Man was the business. You know I've got a you know I've got a clip of me as He-Man, don't you? I know I, I know Tactical tried to request this one and I missed it, but yeah. When the trolls come on and I I get to block one, I get to play this. Mysterious City of Gold, that's it. Yeah, and the three musker hounds, Doug Tanyan, yeah. They're remaking that, I think. Or making a film of it. Uh, Metallic said, I got chatting with Funky about old uh, programs the other week. Brought back some memories. Yeah, it, do it does. It does bring back some good sort of memories. <laughs> what are you saying there, Zed? I think, I don't know what you're seeing there. Don't say, there's something I didn't see. I don't know if I'm going bloody mad now. Zed, what do you mean there? Oh, no, sorry. I missed the fucking, I missed the comment. All right, see it now. Ignore me, Zed, ignore me, Zed. But Dara Love said, that is true, Mike. The devil tricked the world into thinking it doesn't exist. And then Zed said, that's that's not true. I've never done that. <laughs> I couldn't find that comment. I was scrolling up and scrolling up. Um, Metallic said, got chatting. I read that one, didn't I? Pob. Don't start with pob. I'm going to have to look up and see if there's a pob video I can nick. Fucking pob gobbing all over the fucking um, screen, the dirty little bastard. <laughs> Disgusting it is. Literally gobbing all over the, the screen. And I write his name in it and spit. <laughs> Richard, Biker Mike from Mars, that's it. There's Biker Mike from Mars and there was... um, Oh, what was the fucking... um, What was that one? Um, Bucky O'Hare. There was something Bucky O'Hare, wasn't there? That's what I can hardly remember the, what I did in the 80s. <laughs> One's kids' program. And he said, I liked how they come off their nuclear powered bikes at 200 miles an hour with shirts and just jeans. And <laughs> they got back on like it was nothing. Uh, Metallic he said, I watched the Dog Tanya film with my grandson at the pictures a couple of weeks ago. It was great. At the end credits, they added the lyrics to the song. 
so we didn't leave till the end. That's, do you know what? That actually sounds great. I have to see if I can get my younger brother to take his um his kids to go and watch that. Then I didn't know that was out. I thought they were still making it. That's I love things like that. Yeah, that they you know put the song on the end. Yeah. Matt Brick said, "Did you ever decide on another story video?" At the minute, it seems like people want to do an embarrassing stories one. But what I'll do, I think, just to confirm it, when I get fully back into things, which should be very soon now, um, I will do a, um, I'll do a video asking people if they would like to talk on a certain sub subject, and we we'll do it. Karma, he's a slingshot warrior shooting his face is the funniest. Yeah, just for you, mate. Yeah. Look at that. I just knocked the dirt off. <laughs> Perzo said, apparently when the puppeteer got sacked, he got pissed off and um, went off on one in front of a bunch of kids who were watching him perform. That's the legend anyway. What one's that, Perzo? Oh, Pob. <laughs> Fucking Pob. Yeah, Zed's even bad for some dinner, man. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Hello, crazy bot builder. You came on at just the right time. And you get exposed. You're right, you think. Oh, Zelda and fucking yeah, Terror Hawks. Uh, we were talking about Terror Hawks last week, I think. Terror Hawks. Nightmare inducing. So, did everyone say what they got planned for tomorrow? I ain't got no, no one's got any plans for tomorrow. <laughs> Tactical said, Persia. No, do not face what my face is, Pob. <laughs> you fuckers. Do not be doing that. That one will not be getting uploaded. <laughs> Natural Bond Serial Killer, how you doing, mate? You right? <laughs> He's a joke, actually. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I vaguely remember Bagpuss, actually. And um, Button Moon and um, is it the Wombles. Jamie said, they was on when I was a kid, but I think they had repeats. I remember Bagpuss, to be honest. <laughs> That's how it works now. There's a succubus. Fuck's sake. Jamie said, I put all my dogging gear on eBay. Not sold anything yet, but there's a few people watching. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, yeah, the clangers, that's it. Ain't you going to the clangers? That's another good one, yeah. Fuck's sake. <clears throat> Ian Lee always used to say the most the most lazy um, radio shows you can ever have is talking about um, old TV shows and uh, talking about sweets from when you was a kid. <laughs> Not just the radio show, but... No, but as you know, I just let it. If topic, if the topic catches, then that's what we talk about. That's good. We'll fix it. We'll wash it, or however it went. Yeah, I I can't remember. Fraggle Rock, yes, Fraggle Rock. I tried to get some episodes of that because that's one I really remember as a kid. Actually, Fraggle Rock. But the only ones I've ever heard of are the Wombles. Must be too young. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the ones we were talking about are quite, um, yeah, what was that one with the bloke who used to own the shop and used to become a different character every time? But these are quite old ones. I think they're ever so slightly before my time, but repeated. Oh, fucking Trapdoor. Now, that was a good one. Yeah, Trapdoor was excellent, actually. Fun house. Because this is what you want. Come on a weapon. Come on a weapon back to stream and talk about 1980s uh, cartoons. <laughs> Crazy Bot Builder said, I loved dinosaurs as a kid. Ended up buying the DVD set as an adult. Still laughing. Myself. I think I know the one you're on about. Was that the one with like the talking dinosaur family? <clears throat> they used to show it on a um on like a Sunday afternoon. Mr. Ben, that was it, Zed. Your parents got rid of the tally when you were six or seven. <clears throat> oh, he said, he also said, I'm yet to find someone that remembers behind the bike sheds, the head teacher woman, always a bit, um, bit head off the jelly babies. Yeah, I've never, is that a, was there a thing called behind the bike shed? Never seen that then. 
Singh, how you doing, mate? You're right. Ah, uh, nice one. Yeah. Morph. Yeah, Morph. That was um Tony Hart, wasn't it? Shoulders out in tonight. It's because I've been soaring and shit there. <clears throat> That's what I used to. Uh, <clears throat> I'd have loved to have been in the fun house with those twins <laughs> when they were old enough, of course. <laughs> no, I would assume they was always old enough, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember all that. Pat Sharp and his fucking mullet. Don't get started on mullets. That, that mullet will trigger um I'm our Spartan. And um yeah, just say the word SSW three times and he shall appear. Yeah, I ain't got fuck all plans for tomorrow. I will probably go in the. Sh I might. I don't know. I might do nothing tomorrow, but I've got to clean up the shed. The shed is a complete shit tip, and I need to sort it out because where I've put my drill is where I used to have stuff originally. Oh, I've never seen that one, Zed. UFO was great as well. Like Captain Scarlet, someone died every episode. Yeah, it was amazing, them old things, because you wouldn't see that nowadays where people were actually dying. You know, fucking um, Captain Scarlet used to have like, like the fucking Mysterons, whatever it was, flying planes into buildings. Better not, let's not talk about that. You can actually get strikes for that now. <laughs> Talking about Captain Scarlet is, but um, he's all right. Yeah, Peter Warry, Peter Warry, Peter Warry, Ren to Ghost. Yeah, fucking hell, really bringing them back now. Uh, Richard said, I used to watch Arthur as a kid. I remember they did a cutaway gag from South Park and Beavis and Butthead. Not the sort of thing you'd expect. I've never seen... Oh, Arthur, yes. Yeah, I did that. I didn't know they did that. Yeah, I know which, what Arthur is, actually. Yeah, I nearly... Yeah. Yeah, Captain Scarlet, yeah. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, Marina Stingray, that's it. Rent a ghost. I look. I I can quite vividly remember Rent a Ghost as well. Yeah, that was a um, that was a good one. Sing said, um, "What was that fit bird, Danny Bear?" That's it. Yeah, I remember Danny Bear. Danny Bear. Um, oh, I'd have. To, I've probably got a catalog. Not a catalog. I've probably got a fucking um, under under my cupboard. I've probably got some. Um, I used to actually. I used to have a Danny Bear poster on my wall. Um, yeah, I've probably got a calendar with some of them sort of um era women on. They've been under my cupboard for about 15 fucking years. I just chucked them under there and they've just been sat there forever. <clears throat> Try to think who the other ones were. Um, there was that blonde bird, another blonde bird. Um, oh god, I can't remember their names now. <laughs> no, not pages stuck together. I was, <laughs> I was thought that was a waste. <laughs> it's a bit of a waste though, buying a six pound fucking magazine and then uh, basically having to sling it. <laughs> Zed said to me, metallic reality, um, anything can happen in the next half hour. A bit like my streams. <laughs> John Kenny, you right, mate? He said, congrats on the new drill, Mike. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's bloody brilliant. Really should change things now, make things a lot easier for me at the minute while I'm while I'm injured. Cheers, mate. Darren, I've said, uh, do you remember a series called Mind Your Language? Now, that rings a bell. That rings a bell, dear love, but not 100%. Um, I do remember one called Why Don't You? And it used to go on about why don't you switch off your TV set, even though you're watching it. That used to be on on, uh, on summer holidays, that did. Crazy Bot Builder said, always some sort of natural adhesive, right? <laughs> yeah. fuck's sake. That's our favourite song. Okay, favourite 80s song since we're in that mood. <laughs> right, if that cat is on it, well, favourite 80s song, I don't know. But I do like a bit of madness. 
I'll check that up, dear. I'll check that out, dear. Love. Um, Roshni, how you doing, mate? If I'm new here, where are you from? <coughs> I am from England. Sorry, I've got, <coughs> got dry throat. England. <coughs> John Kenny said, did you watch a low or low? I still watch a low or low now. You look on some of the um, some of the uh, channels on Sky, that's still on. <laughs> Why don't you love? No, I love a bit of madness. I do love a bit of madness. Oh, that mean who don't love a bit of madness? <laughs> Not why. Oh fuck, pug wall. Uh, Eight for air gun. You're bringing back some really good ones for me. Yeah, pug. Because you're you're um only if you was born eighty three, you're only slightly younger than me anyway. Yeah, pug wall. Summer holidays as well, wasn't it? Yeah, pug wall. They're Australian. There's like a kids band, weren't they? Yeah, I used to like pug wall actually. Yeah. Yeah, there was a couple one there that you'd only you'd, you know you'd you'd have to wait till summer holiday to see them, and then they'd show show them all during the um, yeah six six episodes was most series over here, isn't it? Although that as I say that was Australian, but yeah, I'm gonna say maybe they showed them every day. I don't know, but yeah, I remember old Pug Wolf. That was your song, was it, Tactical? New shoes, I can't wait. But the bastards use it on TV. I now spoil it. Two Broke Girls, John. I have seen that. That's, that's a new one, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. That's, that's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, Zed, I remember that as well. Two point, yeah. Yeah, 2.4 children, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah that was good. Because a lot of them don't, you don't see a lot of them in things now, do you? I think the kid went in, the boy actor went into um, Hollyoaks, I think. I think the dad died in real life. Yeah, 2.4 children. That was that was good and weird, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I said, you're all wrong. Love Shaq. What if E52 is the best day he's signed? That's on my uh, playlist. Zing said, Casey and the Sunshine Band. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Baby, give it up. <laughs> Uh, I should said my favorite uh madness song is Night Boat. I like that, I quite like Uncle Sam, but there are, there's loads of um madness songs I like. But I like the bit in Uncle Sam where he says, um, <laughs> silly little sniggers from those women liberators, but I'll stand and hold my post. Um, I can't remember the rest, but yeah, he's basically saying he's gonna get these, these women libs. Uh, <laughs> I were laughing at it. Uh, yeah, polished buttons and erect. I'll show those women who's the most. That's the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, Mike karaoke, but it's fucking total shite. <laughs> One thing I can't do is fucking sing. <sighs> you like a bit of UB40? I don't mind a bit of UB40. Yeah, Red Red Ryan. Um, have you ever read the original of that? Um, Who's the original by? But the original Red Red Wine is completely different to the UB40 version. The UB40 version is quite sort of upbeat. And the the, orig the original one is actually quite depressing. Completely sung in a completely different way. Goodbye, horses. That's on my... <laughs> Persia, that is actually on my um, drunk playlist. I like a bit of old Goodbye, horses. It's hard to listen to it without thinking of Buffalo Bill, though. But I started getting into that again because they featured that on Grand Theft Auto V. But it's actually quite a good song. Uh, <laughs> Richie said, Good Boy Horse is great to dance to in a wig with no clothes on. And then he meant to write with his penis tucked in your legs. <laughs> So I said, the birdie song is one of those songs that doesn't just get into your head. It torments your soul as well. <laughs> yeah, there are songs like that that do your fucking head in. I have known songs like that that annoyed me so badly that I've had to, li to deliberately listen to music to try to force it out of my head. <laughs> that was a year before the Kingston Town was the last song at the local pub. Grab your partner for some mug. 
<laughs> Ain't fair, kind of said. Um, good boy, horses was on clerks as well. That's um, I know that. I've never actually seen that. No, I have seen that one. I think. Yeah, but I know, I know that one. Um, can't remember his name now. Kevin Smith in it. Metallic Reality said, I had Madness albums on vinyl. All original press. One day I got home from school and they'd vanished. My brother, who hated them, swore to his dying days it was nothing to do. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. That's a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> I reckon if I can just sold them all or something or smashed them up or something. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I've got all of... I ain't got... Well, actually, I have got one um, Madness um, single on vinyl. That someone found in a shed and gave it, found two of them, gave one to Matt, gave one to me because he knew we both like madness. But on CD, I've got literally everything they've ever done, apart from like their newest album, I think. That said, uh, Buffalo, Buffalo girls go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Fucking awful. <laughs> he did it on purpose. Now he's trying to get stuck in people's heads. It, the, the only problem is, if I say it out loud, it won't even sound like the original song. Damien says, spending the day with Louise and our um our boy tomorrow. Get the fun thing. Ah, oh, nice one, Jay. That sounds pretty good. Sounds good. That then I know I know a song that'll get on your nerves. Ha <laughs> ha fuck's sake. I'm trying to find one that um Yeah, there you go. That fucking matter. If you ever buy Joe Pasquale DVDs, right, be prepared that he never changes his act. So you can buy um, Joe Pasquale DVDs of five different stand-up things, uh, two different years, two two years apart, ten years apart from the first and first and last one. And they're exactly the fucking same. That's why you get fucking buy some Tim Vine fucking um, stand-up. He changes his act every year. Joe Pasquale, no, he's doing the same fucking thing 15 years later. <laughs> Catman, how you doing, mate? You should like the Queen of the Damned movie album. It's very good. I'll have to check that out because I don't think I've even seen the film. Pedro said, great movie album, Mr. Crow. Metallic Reality said, I'm getting all this Jeffrey Tull albums, though. I'm still alive, I won. <laughs> James, hey, Mike. Now that the pubs are open again. Uh, can that big weapon to piss up? Can we have that big piss up now? Do you know what? Weirdly enough, I was looking at some old, old video, and I mean fucking eight years ago, and we were still discussing it then. So, um, don't hold your breath. <laughs> so, so that could only be an improvement, Mark. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> big piss up. You imagine weapon to piss up. I'll check it out, Catman. I'll check it out. <clears throat> right, seeing as I've been on for an hour and a half, I'm going to quickly put an advert on. So if anyone ever wanted to support this channel, you can. I've been completely demonetized. And um, if you do support it, massively helps. But a lot of people want to, but they don't know how to. So this is how. So I'll put a little video on. Then if you look in the chat, there should be a link. And also, if you look in the description to the video, there'll be a link how to do it. So this is how to donate if you ever wanted to. And it's piss easy. Just do it with paper. See you in 30 seconds. There you go. But anything that gets donated massively helps, and I do massively appreciate it as well. Um, Metallic Reality said, you haven't seen Queen of the Damned? Shame on you. Oh, no, I've never seen it, yeah. It's with that old, the, the bird, um, I can't remember, but she died, didn't she? Yeah. Daniel said, what's the best tool to prevent me being taken off my motorcycle? I don't know, Dad. I ain't got a clue, Dan. But, uh, Pazio, no pissy fingers. I didn't go to that. <laughs> I know I pissed quick, but I don't think I could beat that. Ravens Tabby, you're right, mate. He said, um, 
I might get a few programs. Daktari, Clarence, The Cross-Eyed Lion and Marine Boy and G-Force. Do you know what? I don't know if I've ever heard of any of them. I'll have to check them out, mate. Catman said, YouTube is a corporate bully. They certainly are. They are. They certainly are, mate. Yeah, if anyone wants to spot, it's easy. You don't you don't have to, but um I mean like the stream, that helps. Might shave me head tomorrow. But I don't know. I'm not unfit sure. Dan said telescopic <laughs> telescopic wheel wrench. <laughs> Alaya, Aliyah, that's it. Agile minded, that's it. Um yeah, I have never. I've I started watching Queen of the Damned once, and I never got around to finishing it. I'll I'll watch it one day. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate it, mate. You should love the channel. Yeah, got the new drill today, so that's um that's that sorted at least. David, you're right, mate. He didn't. He said, your favourite Hammer horror film. Oh, I don't know, because there's loads of them, aren't there? And there's been some modern ones as well. What's some of the modern ones? That's a hard one for me, um, because it's hard for me to remember what a lot of them are, like what they're called. Things in a heavy lock chain would be good to fancy weapon on a motorcycle. 83 Air Gun, I said, Jason and the Wheeled Warriors was good. And also Brave Star, I think it was called. Never heard of any of them. Never heard of any of them. That's what get your hair cut. Um, all this 80s talk. And you're fitting right in, Bennett. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you not know I'm Bennett from Commander? I just need to get myself a um <coughs> fucking what do you call it? <laughs> um oh God, I can't remember what it's called now. Chainmail vest. Get myself a chainmail vest and I'm sorted. I don't mind it, yeah. Got a lot of female vampire. Angela Bassett looks badass in um, Vampire in Brooklyn. Angela Bassett, yeah. Let me just see if that's who I think that is. Oh, no, it's not what I was thinking of. Um, <laughs> I was thinking of vampire in Brooklyn. Uh, what's Vampire in Brooklyn? Um, you know what? I don't think I've seen that either. That's that the one with Eddie Murphy in it. I'm not sure. Glad you yeah, let us some steam, Bennett. <laughs> Daniel said, love the video on the stab proof vest. I'll have to do some more of them soon. Yeah. Yeah, them videos are quite popular. And in all honesty, they're quite handy, aren't they? Um yeah. Quite handy. <clears throat> oh, here's the Eddie Murphy one, nice one. Yeah. What's the weather like where you lot are? It's not too bad here at the moment. Persio said it was the inspiration for Die Hard. What's that? Um, I've missed some up there. No, I don't know. Um, uh, Francis is absolutely pissing it down. Um, couldn't see anything with my rifle. It rained, saying that it rained here earlier, but not bad. While I was in the shed, it rained for a bit. It may be raining now, but it's reasonably warm in here still. So I don't know if you can tell I got a fan on, but um, yeah, it is actually reasonably warm in here right now. But it may actually be raining right now. Let me check the cameras. I could check my security cameras. Both said, Commando, that's why the sequel, Die Hard 2, the Army General, was from V. Diver I did not know that, Percy. I didn't know that. That's very interesting.
does not appear to be raining where I am. Daniel said, what's your favourite weapon on your wall? I don't know. Um, that's very difficult to say. Um, on the wall. Favourite one. Hmm. But the problem is, the ones on the wall don't really get used a lot. Um, I could probably, you know, in that box under there, there's a great big box, see that white looking thing there. Um, that's, oh my God, I don't know. Maybe that sword up the top. Yeah. Maybe. Gun, I don't know. I've always liked the old, well, I'm not going to tell you what that's called. You have to guess. Ha <laughs> joking. Um, Chinese Type 86 has bullpup rifle. Always like that because it's unusual. Metallic reality. So if Die Hard was a vampire film, I might be able to ignore him <laughs> long enough to watch it. I was just, we had floods last week with sewage flowing past my house. It's been pissing down most days. Well, at least it'll wash away all the fucking um, sewage. But yeah, that ain't good, though, is it? I think. What my favourite gun is, the one with the handle. <laughs> the black one. That's all them out, apart from that. That one Russian doggo. How you doing, mate? You all right? Uh, Metallic Reality said, can we get a flash of the chunky knife with the studded sheath, please? That one. I'll, I'll tell you what, if you if you message me on a comment saying, Mike, can you get that knife? I'll get it down for you tomorrow. Because the only thing is I have to undo that, get it out, and it's a bit awkward. I have to put it back. But if you remind me, I'll get it down tomorrow. But you'd have to message me tonight on a com. Just comment on any video saying, Mike, can you get that knife down for me to look at? And also, is the person still on who wanted to see... No, they didn't want to see them. They wanted to see that, didn't they? If the person who is still on who wanted to see that, go to my merchandise. Um, I can't move the camera over there. Go on to my merchandise page. Just put in the chat exclamation mark merch. Actually, it's up there. It says buy weapon, T-shirts, hoodies, stickers, banners. Click that link, and then you'll see them banners, and you can have a close-up look at them. Bojo said, um, wet here, supposed to get thunderstorm tomorrow, but never happened. Today, sorry. Daniel said, do you like war games on Xbox? Or are you a PlayStation man? I've, I've got a PlayStation, but I'm not really fussed. I would have either. Um, oh, yeah, I'll do that in a minute. <clears throat> I'm not a Xbox, you know, I'm not one of these, um, I'm on PlayStation, Xbox is crap sort of person. I'll just get, um, I'll just get PlayStations because that's just what I've always done. But, um, you know. I would have an Xbox, but um, once you start going on one, you tend to just stick with it, don't you? Um, but war games I've never played. But yeah, well, I don't suppose this shows it up close enough, but yeah, if anyone wondered, that stuff really is there. It's just behind it. Nah, it's all good. Tattoo. I didn't take it that way. I didn't take it that way. Beards, it, you know. Um, Raven said, "Yeah, it was a, it was out. Um, yeah, it was out ratting last night. Me and my mate got 140 rats. Fucking hell, that's good fucking shit." Metallic I said, "I'll message you on a comment on here. Yeah, do that, and then what I'll do, I'll get it down for the next stream. I'll get it down for the next stream then." Um, yeah, I'll have it ready for you. That is a, I'll tell you what that is. Those studs down there are rivets and that's a Kydex sheath. And that was my first ever, what I call machete Bowie, which is a Bowie knife made from a machete. I started making loads after the first one, but it was a good way to sort of, 
make your own knife without having to forge anything. You just got a machete and you cut the machete down into a bowie shape, put a guard on it, put a handle on it. And yeah, I've really liked doing them because, um, you know, you can get your own design knives, but um, really low cost. You right, Merlin? How you doing, mate? He said, um, anybody got a link for some Horizon Redback XR magazines? I've still not seen any apart from that one site I think you mentioned. The the um, I don't know where it is, but it's not in it's somewhere in Europe, isn't it? but not over here. Um, sorry, laughing at Zed there. Uh, yeah, I no, I still don't know, mate. But if I ever find you, I'll let you know. Zeta, I know she still haven't put my name right yet. I'm surprised you didn't put that that bastard Zod up instead. <laughs> do you really want me to put the seven on? If you really do, I can do that, Zed. <laughs> Fladdy said, well, I'm off to bed. Night, oh. Good night, mate. I'll, I'll stay like that forever now, Zed. Um, yeah, I'm good, Merlin. Thank you for asking, mate. Yeah, I'm good. Um... As good as can be expected at the minute. But yeah, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah, Zed's alt ego is coming out at the minute. He's Zod. Yeah, good night, Flazzy. Cheers for coming on. Cheers for whacking that bit of... um, um <laughs> I can't think. Donation in. Because, yeah, I'll, I'll buy... I think I'll buy the... um. The hammer for the war hammer now. I don't know. I'm joking. Uh, Piet, hello. He said, hello from Germany. How are you? All right, mate. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Nice to see you on, mate. You know, now you said you're joking. I'll change it now. <laughs> Merlin says, Shogun has some mags listed for 22 euros. YouTube comments say restock soon. All right. Well, if you ever, if you ever find any, uh, Merlin, let me know as well, because I would um, I would like to know. Um, but yeah, at the minute, I can't find anywhere like UK-based that sells them that I know is definitely reliable. And, yeah, they're either out of stock or they're a bit out of price. I'm tempted to. I've been. I might. I might do it soon. When I when I get back into crossbow shooting again, because that's put me off my stomach at the minute. Um, it might be all right doing that anyway. Um, I might actually message Merlin Archery, email them, and say, "Would it be possible for you to get the magazines for us? Because we would buy them. I know those people who want them, and then they might get them in then." Metallic Reality said, I'm running a bit behind my YouTube being a twat buffering rel relentlessly. I will promise us a nice pond tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You message me on a comment. Just comment and I'll get it down. You're right, Carl. How you doing, mate? I commented on your um, your uh, tool video you got. Yeah, I love them old, um, the old tools. That stuff lasts for fucking ever, doesn't it? Man, I said I'd I'd pre-order five at least. Yeah, I'll get hold of them, mate. I'll get hold of them and ask them. Um, you know, I, I, I might as well ask, ain't I? Uh, metallic. Yeah, he said, that's kind of what zero pence Keith does with old knives. I think I may be sub to zero pence. I certainly know who that is. Put it that way. Um, yeah, it's. It's just a good if you if you haven't got the capabilities to um, if you haven't got the capability to forge, it's a nice way to make your own knife. Still, I've done loads of really nice. Um, well, I've got them out now. I've done loads of what I call machete bowies. Catman said, "Did the drill press arrive yet?" Yes, it did. Check out the video I put on earlier. Yeah, it's a it's a beast of a thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, it came, mate. I'm really happy. It should should sort me out. Make I can make things that I, you know, that was difficult before. 
Carl said, yes, mate. Uh, just not getting time to reply. I will. I'm That's all good, Carl. Don't worry about it, mate. But yeah. Yeah, and no, I just thought I'd say I watched it. In case you didn't know. Um, yeah, good. I love the old tools. I've got quite a few tool, old tools I use. And they're just better than the fucking new stuff, aren't they? Built to last, as you say. <coughs> I have got myself a brand new pillar drill, though. Bench drill, pillar drill, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, because I've got a fucking... I've ripped one of my fucking... Ripped or torn a stomach muscle. It just hurts all the fucking time if I do anything. Um, and trying to drill stuff with a shitty little drill, just I wouldn't be able to do it. It would flare it up so much, I wouldn't, you know. So I managed to get some of these like, to donate some money, and I bought a fucking pillar drill. It helped me massively, though. Piet said, what's your earliest memory of a weapon or gun in a TV series or a movie that can imp impact on you and woke your interest in weapons? What weapon was that? And how did it make you feel? As far as I can remember, um, one of the things that got me into like doing these displays and that was definitely tremors. Um but I've always been interested in weapons anyway. But things like Arnold Schwarzenegger films, things like Commando, um, Terminator, Raw Deal. Raw Deal had like pure fucking like, gun porn in it. It was cool music. And him just loading up guns and putting them in, in a bag. You know what I mean? To shoot these fucking gangsters. Um, yeah. And that really sort of made it even more... That's it, Carl. Yeah, you do want to be able to have, um, yeah, prepper tools. Yeah, tools that don't require electricity. Exactly. Exactly, mate. <coughs> a lot of people. Yeah, and as, you know, as I said on your thing, it makes me laugh. I watch quite a few. Um, I watch people who make, you know, they do videos of make, building stuff with, with all these really complicated tools. And I often think to myself, I bet if you put a, a saw in that bloke's hand, he wouldn't even be able to cut a straight line. Um, and that's not necessarily totally true, but I think a lot of people wouldn't have ever even used hand tools. <laughs> Carl said, Me, no, like you, a <laughs> British soldier, you can pay one dollar more. <laughs> How many of them seven percent ciders you had tonight, Carl? <laughs> I'm off of them tonight. Catman said, I've seen weapons and stuff, new gel blaster videos. Pretty cool. Yeah, it looked pretty good, didn't it, for what it was? Um, yeah. Um, if for what it was in the price, it looks quite decent. Metallic Reality said, Predator comes to mind. Yeah, Predator was another one. Yeah, with the fucking minigun and that. Yeah, and the knives. And... So I said, mine was the Alamo with John Wayne and Richard Widmark. The Bowie in that impressed me as a young kid. I had a thing for Bowie's. <laughs> Ever since, so I was laughing at Carl saying "numb." Lol. <laughs> I believe you. I don't think many would. <laughs> joking. In regards to the booze, I'm joking. Carl said, "Yeah, gel blasters look good. For yeah, they do. They do. For full or oh, and and they get around that weird VCRA thing where you can't buy certain airsoft guns anymore. They sort of get around that that sort of rule, whatever it is." Yeah, so same here, Commando, on VHS in the 80s. Exactly that, VHS in the 80s, yes. Infamous loadout. Um, so that's exactly it, um, Piet. Yeah, definitely. 100%, mate. Have I said... I've not said crypto three times tonight, have I? What's going on there? Alex Saint said, looks like you've got a good pillar drill. You deserve it, mate. Understood. Thank you, Alex Saint. Yeah, cheers, mate. Yeah, it's really good. I've had a go on it. It works lovely. Yeah. Um, Crypto said, my cold steel crossbow is defective, Mike. I recently bought a chisel set and a crank drill. Oh, that's good. Good good for the crank drill and the chisel set. That's very good to have, mate. I've got a crank drill. I've got the one where you turn it that way, not that way. Um, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, they're good. To, I'll, I'll watch your video later. Someone told me you had a crossbow video on. I'll watch that in about 15 minutes, mate. 
I might be able to help you. Don't get rid of it or nothing. I'll see if I can give you some pointers because I've got this. I've got one similar one there. Um, Burge is a like Skywalker getting his lightsaber or stuck with me. Yeah, there's some good. Yeah, that's yeah. All I can say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting a bad back tomorrow. Where am I? David said, love the cult python. Um, Hutch had in the original Starsky and Hutch. Well, I missed something there, Tactical. Then it's a film. Alex said, the only pillar drill I have is a drill that's like 20 years, 20 years old. In a bit, uh, 20 years old in a bit of wood. Does the work though? Well, exactly. My one, I, in all honesty, in a normal, in normal times when I'm not injured, I could just get on with a normal drill. I don't really need a pillar drill normally, but it's going to make stuff so much easier while I'm recovering. Yeah. So why not? Not I mean. Why not? But um, yeah, it's it's made a massive improvement for. For everything for me, I'll be able to knock them. Um, I'll be able to knock out the fucking bay bayonets in no time now. Oh, the way I did the drill, not that way, but that way. <laughs> the way I did the drill, give us a clue. <laughs> oh, is it a film? I get you now. Yeah, is it a film? Fucking charades. <laughs> Gas goblin, you're right, mate. Yeah, that new one I've got is really quiet. It's brilliant. Really quiet. Robocop's pistol is cool. Yeah, I don't mind exactly. Crypto, you should buy a June buggy. I'll look into that. I'd love to see how much they cost. It might be pretty cool, wouldn't it? But yeah, tactical. I'll, I'm not tactical. Slingshot. I'll have a look at your video. I was told it was on, but by the time I was told I was on here. I'll have a look tonight, see if I can help you. Or if you want, do a video and ask my advice on it. I might be able to tell you some stuff about the crossbow if you need tips. It's not all that fucking weights you've been doing, has it? And you've just ripped the bar straight off, have you? Like the air rifle. You bent the barrel. That's too much weights. Right, I'll be on for about another 15 minutes because, um, yeah, I've got a couple of things I need to do tonight. I should be on tomorrow. I'm not I'm not sure, right? I've been drinking every weekend, and I know that to some people wouldn't sound a lot, but um, it's been getting to the stage where I think there have been stages where I've been drinking a whole bottle of vodka and, like, Five or six cans of Stella and shit like that, which is quite a lot. That's getting on for like 40 units. It, I'm drinking I'm, every weekend, I'm drinking the equivalent of a litre of vodka. It's getting like that now. Um, and I noticed it starts to affect my mental health after a while. It starts to make me feel um, slightly, I get slight, slightly depressive sort of thoughts. So I may have a week off this week just for my, uh, my health. Alex Saint said, saw a light, but there's a small chance I may drink anyway. Crypto, no mic. Uh, we'll do mic and no mic. All right, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I might be able to, I'm joking about that, um, Crypto. But yeah, let me know. I might be, um, I'll have a look and I might be able to see what's going on. Alex Saint says, saw a light on eBay for 13 quid, big as a mag light, but it's a bit dodgy as it's <laughs> 10 million, 100 million lumens. So we don't want to get nicked for an alien technology. <laughs> 100 million lumens. What was that? A billion lumens. Um, tactical said, merch. Don't be an ass. Buy a weapon collector glass. I still need to ask. He let me anyway. I don't he probably don't need to ask him. I need to get that off of um, Jim's channel, actually. Um... Crip said, Mike, did you like the song? I said, yeah, I did. I've added it to my playlist, the old Drunken Dwarves. Yeah, I, wa I watched that quite a few times that night. Catman said, it's good to take breaks from alcohol. I don't think drinking alcohol every weekend is the best thing. Yeah, if you if you can drink mildly, it's not so bad. But once I start, I, 
I'll start drinking about nine o'clock in the evening, and sometimes I'll still be drinking nine o'clock in the morning, <coughs> which is what I did last week as well. Gas Goblin said, you stop me using my uh, fists, respect to you. Well, cheers, Gas Goblin. You know, um, you know, if you come out of it better in the long run, yeah. Ronan, you're right, mate? And he said, it's the cumulative hangover that you never really recover from that gets to you. Yeah. Shit, mate. I've tactical, yeah, yeah, respect to Jim. I love that. Song. It's a good one, isn't it? Hello, old Jim. He's good at um, he's good at coming up with things like that. So I enjoy watching his stories and that, you know, when he's um, or when he's telling a story or when he's going out, he's he's just good at talking, isn't he? What's that, gas goblin? Do you have the K? Griffith, thanks, Mike. We drink mead until the morning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, good. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I've got it on my playlist now. And while I was listening to that, Persia was sending me um, face swap after face swap after face swap. <laughs> <laughs> Most of it unusable. The only, actually, um, Persia, you may have to go back to the old picture. But the problem was, I, I posed for a picture on here. While I was drunk, it looks even worse with Stroke Crow. <laughs> Carl said, Mike, I think the older you get, the longer it takes to recover from it. But that's definitely true, isn't it, Carl? Yeah, I agree with you there. As I certainly feel that now. Um, oh, yeah, Gash Goblin, yeah. Um, so if you put in, I'll do it, but if you put in exclamation mark support... It will pop up. Nightbot will put it on in a second, but it's in the top of the description. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Carl, though? Definitely. Metallic Reality said, good that you have identified the effects of alcohol on your mental health and actually take action. Many don't. as either... Um, yeah, don't either. Massive respect and love to... Oh, thank you, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's it's knowing it's knowing what does it, in it? But I've... I've noticed, I've noticed every year, because I used to drink, when I was a teenager, I was an alcoholic, basically, and I used to drink every day. And, um, yeah, if I drink too much now, I notice things start coming back, you know, and thoughts and, you know. Dad said, yeah, Jim's, Jim's videos are great. He's a natural born storyteller. He is, isn't he? A natural storyteller. Alex says, would it be legal if I buy an airsoft or blank gun in blue and wrap camo tape all As far as I'm aware, a bloke called Jumble Sabu who knows his laws quite a lot told me that there's actually nothing stopping you buying a, say, orange blank fire and spraying it black. There's nothing to say you can't do that. Alex says, I'm genuinely curious, but don't want to find out the potential consequences. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you, mate. Um, yeah. It's a risk, isn't it? But no, as far as I'm aware, so Persia is asking for stroke crow, so you're going to have to get stroke. So I've got a video that I play. If people are moaning that they're not enjoying the video, I play this. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? <laughs> so Persia then made me a face swap version, what we call stroke crow. Oh, fuck's sake. <clears throat> Alex, I like said, oh, I read that one, didn't I? <laughs> we called the second one Stroke Crow. <clears throat> Crypt said, you should go to the UK Comic Con just as a Tolkien drop. One day, maybe one day. But I said, moderation and everything, and everything in moderation. Exactly, mate, exactly. Hard to do, though, isn't it? It can be difficult, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Carl said, oh, bro. They're a lot of funny, aren't they, Carl? Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, the second one, we call it stroke growth. It don't quite look right. I've got loads of clips on here I can play for certain things. Uh, crypto drinking isn't good for you, bro. No, I know, I know. That's why I try to. That's why I try to leave it as long as possible. But um, sometimes things just come up where people want to keep meeting or whatever. I can't say no, but yeah, I'm aware of that, and which is that as long as you are aware of it, you can you can help yourself, sort of thing. Um, Alex says saw an obvious, an obviously free car outside Tesco with the keys still in. It even came with shopping in the boot. <laughs> Lucky bastard. <laughs> Did you take it? <laughs> Lucky bastard. <laughs> Kurtz said, someone put Mike's face on Gimli. I think um, I think Persio tried to do that, but because of my beard and the beard they have, it doesn't work properly for some reason. I have face swap things, Carl. Yeah, he said, I've got a few of them funny as fuck. Yeah, I think for some reason, because I've got a beard and there's a beard on it, it don't work properly. Because that was the first thing Persio was trying to do. Tactical said, just done two weeks off the booze. Falling off the wagon tomorrow. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, but if I don't drink tomorrow, I'll be drinking um, next week. Problem is, I've got a pile of booze behind me as well. Did I show you what I bought? I've got one of these, though, just for a laugh. For a treat myself to something I've only ever had a sip of once in my life. And I liked it. So I thought, oh fuck it, I'm gonna buy a bottle of that just to just to say I've actually drunk it. I bought a big bottle. <clears throat> Made the camera go funny. Jamie said, I got started on by three blokes today. I managed to knock one of them out though. In hindsight, probably not the best time for a wank. <laughs> <laughs> Persia, uh, Rich said, "Is Persia going to do the Mike Face edit on Leonidas just doing the sex scene?" <laughs> <coughs> well, yeah, shagging old Lena Hedy. Go ahead. <laughs> Iron Man, how you doing, mate? He said, um, "Nice dude, drill. I might get one. Worth getting, mate. Definitely worth getting. You can get the the lower. You can get like a lower model for about sixty quid. Yeah." Carl said, oh, I like baby sham. You know what, Carl? I've never had it properly. I had it once when I was about 16. We nicked a bottle. Well, we was nicking like a crate of booze, and we found that in there as well. And we all had a little swig of it. And I remember thinking, oh, that's lovely. I've always wanted to try it again. And I went on a website called Drink Supermarket, where you can buy loads of weird booze. Um, I bought a load of miniatures of stuff I've always wanted to try. And then I thought, fuck it, for five quid or whatever it is, I'll get myself a bottle of baby shan. Just so I can um yeah, so I can say I really have had it. Cause it's oh, lovely from what I remember. Rona said, Do you watch UFC? Not really, but only because it's normally on something I can't watch it on. I said hello, Iron Man, did I? You're right, mate. Go said, best one so far is Mike Cizan's. It worked great. I laughed. Yeah, but that's drunk, Mike, as well. So it looks absolutely <laughs> it looks terrible. My fucking eyes are barely open. Yeah, I give myself an ooh, lucky bastard for getting some baby sham, shall I? Ooh, lucky bastard. <laughs> I'm a baby sham is a leg opener for the old, old, the old ladies, is it? <laughs> so I got to get, got to get myself a, a, a reasonably aged bird to come out of me in the Wendy ass. Mint booze. But as well as my as well as my normal bottle of vodka, so I got my normal bottle of vodka. They sent me that for free. Lemon cello liqueur, which is 27%. I didn't buy that, though. They sent that for nothing. And I bought these ones. So that's Chateau de Breville Calvados. 
which is um, Calvados is a type of brandy, I think, but I've never tried Calvados. That one's 40%. Fireball. Um, liquor blended with cinnamon and whiskey. That's 33%. <laughs> well, I thought it was, these these are the more weird ones, metallic, not the baby sham, but and then an underberg, underberg digestives. This is called. I think it's like um, I think it's like Jägermeister, and that one's forty four percent. No, I'll just get them just to try and something different in it. That's a Persia. I should do one. Of uh, Bert Gamma with Mike's face. <laughs> Carl said, my current missus is a girl. <laughs> I think I know the way to make Mike look like a dwarf. Uh, put Mike on Tolkien dwarf. Singh said, remember those shandy cans from the 80s? That's it, top deck. Yeah, I remember, mate. <laughs> the rec room bit. Irishman said, um, oh, Bert Gamma, yeah, in the rec room with his guns and all, yeah. I've said it before, part of Red Ale with Creme de Mont Fins, really nice. Yeah, Fireball, never tried it. <clears throat> I just thought I'd get some more unusual kind of stuff so I could try them out. And then, because obviously it's it's a bit of a waste buying a whole bottle of it if you don't like it. Some of this shit, if you don't like it, it's fucking gag-worthy, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, it's nice to be able to try things. Like Calvados, I think, like some of these things, some of these more expensive drinks they're like fucking 50 quid a bottle so you're easy it's easier just to get a little bottle of calvados so at least you've tried it um Richard says chateau sounds like a foreign name for laxative <laughs> one of them wasn't called chateau was it oh chateau <laughs> chateau yeah oh fernet branca all right that man said they've been banning alcohol from airlines and recommended cups to go in airports because idiots keep getting drunk on the planes and being violent. Yeah, that's a shame people do shit like that. That must be... You imagine being on a plane and something that was going mental. That must be fucking terrifying. I don't say Has anyone else seen the video of the Russian geezer down like three bottles of vodka? Fucking mental. Iron Man Spartan probably has. He's probably joined in that um, competition. Crypto said there's a TV trope here in America called... The lovable town drunk. Yeah, we often have things with a sort of lovable, lovable town drunk. Well, I don't know actually. <laughs> That's a fireball, isn't? Isn't that when your <laughs> tab drops in your lap? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Dano Jano said, uh, "Mark Zuckerberg is an alien robot. Maybe he is. Maybe he is." <laughs> I try to warn him. Right, I'll be only on for a couple more minutes because I've got a couple of things I need to do tonight. Uh, Dana Jones said, Jim Leahy from Trailer Park Boys is the best drunk. I 100% agree. Yeah, I love Trailer Park Boys. I even have my Trailer Park Boys shirt up there for when I'm having a serious drink, my Ricky shirt. I should get a Jim Leahy shirt, really, but I don't think it suit me. I've actually got the body of Randy. I've got the sideburns and beard of... Um... I, I, oh, look. There's three things I do, right? So I have the sideburns and goatee beard of Ricky. I wear very similar clothes to Julian, all black. And I have the body of Randy. But there's no way I'm walking around with chinos on and no shirt. Because fucking um, Randy does not wear a shirt ever. And if he gets into a fight, he takes his trousers off. <coughs> Now, there's me bottle of vodka, unopened. Well, I've had, that's been up there for about a week or so. <clears throat> uh, Ronan said, did you know like, he didn't drink in real life? Yeah, uh, what, um, what's his name? Um, John Dunsworth. Yeah, he don't drink, does he? Sad, sadly dead now. Great actor he was. Leahy was a great character. But the thing I always liked about Jim Leahy was 
he was the sort of <clears throat> antagonist, wasn't he? But I never disliked Leahy. No matter all, how, you know, and yeah, Leahy was like it was like the baddie in it, but you never hated him. But I just, yeah, and do you know Jim? It was something to do with Jim, right? <laughs> Rain, I said, it looks like a smell of what? Yeah, it was just a cheap bottle of vodka. Where am I? Um, I like saying here, especially the hero, the heroin addicts, hero addicts. Uh, kick off multi story car parts, no reason. Grip said, What would happen if the working class British guy goes to a southern trailer park? I'm not sure because we have things like that here. We've got um, we have trailer parks here, we just don't call them trailer parks. <clears throat> what you call a trailer, we call a caravan. Little pig said red square. Anything, anything trying that art? Does that impression? Probably isn't. Yeah, exactly. I bet if you look, it probably says brood in Scotland. Most of them are. Right, well, now you can't hate old lady. No, he was, you know, even though he was, yeah, he was like the baddie, he was still, um, you still liked Leahy, didn't you? Alex Hank said, Guy Ritchie made good films back in the day. Not sure nowadays, though, as everyone turned into a bunch of pussies. Yeah, he started putting a lot of more famous actors in as well, I think. But yeah, um, Lockstock and Snatching that. I look up there because that's what they are. Great films. What's that, Ronan? What's what called? ST, right, mate? By the way, I'll be off in a minute. It's quarter to 12 now. <clears throat> Alex said, Dark humor jokes are offensive to everyone. He can't have a laugh, it's not fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Gas Goblin said, can you do the q and A's? Yeah, I might put it on tomorrow. It's been uh, it's been recorded. I just need to edit it because it's 45 minutes long. So I'll put it on tomorrow. Irishman said, I remember back in the 90s, I was drinking um, Quantro and um, Red Bull. Carl said, camping off campsite in a van is going to be illegal. Is it really? That's fucked up. You've still got your van, Carl. Still got your red van. Did you go to the old prepper meet, Carl? Didn't you go this time? I didn't see. I not. I ain't seen no videos. Well, I've seen one video this time. But normally, I see quite a few. You know, you get RDP. RDP puts a good video on. So he'll go around and talk to everyone. So RDP will actually do a video of him walking all around everywhere, talking to everyone. You'll see you. You know, all of the people there. But um, I don't think he's even not put one on yet, or didn't go. <laughs> That's a like if you're not drinking baby sound, yeah. ST said, no cotton eye Joe Miley Cyrus in the shed tonight. <laughs> not tonight. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> there is one rule, though. What happens in the Wendy House stays in the Wendy House. Or, well, actually, what happens on drunk streams stays on drunk streams and gets deleted, never to be mentioned ever again. I'll let you off there. Uh, Krypton, I think the Southerners would welcome him. Give him some moonshine. Yeah, you're right. You probably would. Probably would. Probably would. All right, get ready, everyone. I'm going off in a minute. I just want to see if Carl answers me before I go. Uh, 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 Iron Man said, what's your opinion on the um, Umrex Tommy gun? Let me have a look quickly. I imagine it's probably decent, but for me... Um, Iron Man. A lot of it depends on the price. Some of that fucking things. Are, what is the price on that? I can't find it straight off. Um, three hundred quid. Not that's a lot, isn't it? Though that's a lot for something like that. Alex saying said, um, "What goes? What goes?" What goes on your stays? Yeah, what goes on tour stays on tour. Yeah, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Carl said, nah, nah, I was gutted. Yeah, Rob's a good bloke. The only Aussie who likes the sun. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, Rob often does a really good video of the preppers meet. And you, um, if you didn't go, you just watch his video. Oh, you didn't get to go then. That's a shame, Carl. But I know you often go, don't you? Where's that one, Carl? Rat Pack meet next week. <laughs> I'll have to look that one up, Iron Man. It, lo it looks decent, but... Um... Oh, yeah. 
be a decent wall hanger. <clears throat> is that like all metal as well? I'll be honest with you, Iron Man. If you wanted a... Right, put it this way. Let's say you wanted a Diac or decent full metal Tommy gun. A Diac's going to cost you... Diac Tommy gun, £1,000. Can't do nothing with it. Why not spend a third of the money on a realistic replica that can actually shoot? Yeah, I think if that's what you want, if that's what a person wants... That's probably, I think, that's the way to go now. If I want any, say, if I wanted a new Colt pistol or a Desert Eagle, I would, I would go for um, CO2 now because they're they're metal replicas that look exactly the same, and you can still shoot them. But the problem is, you buy replicas and that, and they, you can't even shoot the fucking things, and they're literally wall hangs. At least with that, you can still use it, but it still looks good. Matlock, is it, um, Carl? I, to be honest, I don't know why I asked where these things are anyway, because I mean, even if there was stuff, even if there was near me, I probably still wouldn't be able to go anyway. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's interesting to know where it is. Metallic, yeah, I'll, I'll be off any minute. I just want to finish these last things here. Metallic Reality said, Preppers Meet was mental busy this year. RDP was there. Um, a lot of other YouTubes never got to record stuff because they're too busy yapping. Oh, did do you go in Metallic Reality? Did you go? Oh yeah, because yeah, because um, yeah, you're um, you're a mod on Funky's um, streams, aren't you? Yeah, um, yeah, I've never been. Um, you know, I might do one day. <laughs> stop, stop, stop! I don't have to go off this time tactical, but yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, a oh, Derbyshire, nice one, Carl. Um, but yeah, RDP always normally does a really good video. And if you don't go, you just watch his video and you get to see who was there. I've seen Carl when he doing like a um charity thing one year that RDP was filming. Catman said, Yeah, better get something that can shoot pellets and BBs. Exactly. And it's cheaper. So you get something that you can actually shoot. Um but looks good. Look, you know. Yeah, I think it's probably worth it. There you go. Look, I, I met, they mentioned Mullets earlier. I man, I man says, great stream, Mike. Take care. And always remember, Mullets are all. I told you. I said, I oh, man, would bring up a Mullet if he come on, saw my hair like this. <laughs> it was all about Pat Sharp earlier. And I said, yeah, don't say that. If you say Crypto's name three times, he'll pop up. And if you say Mullet three times, you'll pop up. Right, cheers for watching everyone. I appreciate it. I'll be on tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I won't be drinking tomorrow. Um, pretty sure I won't be, but I'll be on here. Um, and I, even if I did, I'd probably be on here anyway. But yeah, right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Cheers for watching. And I'll try to get, I'll probably edit the QA video, put that on tomorrow because I've already recorded it. I've recorded it yesterday. And if you haven't seen it yet, watch my video earlier of the drill I got. I got myself a new drill thanks to people donating to help me with this, you know, this struggle for me to drill at the minute. Right. Um, yeah, metallic reality. You'll have to get out of Carl. Um, yeah, cheers, everyone. I appreciate it. It's been a good night tonight. I've enjoyed it. They're nearly always good nowadays. Even the old trolls don't spoil it for me now. Very rarely does one does one actually manage to catch me. <laughs> All right. Cheers, everyone. See you tomorrow night. Have a good evening. And I'll see you later. Cheers for watching. <laughs>